Okay, so on this type of problem, it's asking you to determine whether they have the same length, okay? So um, we're going to go ahead and start out by, well, what I'll do first is I'm going to color the lines just so I can, when I talk about them, you guys know which line I'm talking about. So that one's going to be the yellow line, and this one's going to be the pink line, okay? All right, so I'm going to start out by finding the length of the yellow line, so I'm going to label its points. So this is 1, 1, and this one is 3, 5. Did you guys label it correctly? Okay, so I'm going to call this x1, y1, and this one x2, y2, although it doesn't matter. If you switch the order, it's fine. You're still going to get the same answer in the end, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and set up my distance formula. I'm going to draw his forehead, his eyes, He's sleepy, got some piercings, has a runny nose, right? So there's my whole template. Now, what I'm going to do is fill in the X's first. So 1 and 3 go in the first set of parentheses. Okay, then I'm going to fill in the Y's. 1 and 5 go in the second set. All right, now I'm going to simplify this, okay? So here's what I get. I get negative 2 and then I get negative 4, okay? Now, if you maybe didn't label these the same as I did, if you like switch them, you made this the first point and this the second point, you would have had these backwards and you would have had these backwards, but you would have just got positive 2 and positive 4 instead of negative 2 and negative 4. And does it really matter whether the number is positive or negative on the inside? Because when I square it, what does it become anyways? positive, right? Okay. So it didn't matter if I accidentally changed the order of these. That doesn't matter because when I squared in the end, I should have, even if I had positives here, I should have ended up with these two numbers in the end anyways, right? And so then I get the square root of 20 and then I can use my calculator to estimate that. Okay. So the square root of 20 I'm getting 4.47. This 7 is telling me to round this 4 up, okay? So I'm going to get 4.5, okay, for that one, all right? Okay, now, um, I got 4.5 for this one. Now I still need to find the other one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and label this ordered pair here, negative 3, comma, 0, and this ordered pair here to negative 2. I'm going to call this x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. But if you mixed up the order, that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my formula, my outline here. Okay, and now I'm going to put in the numbers. All right, so I'm going to put in the x's first, negative 3 and 2. And then I'll put in the y's, 0 and negative 2. Okay, so... Here's what I end up getting for this one. Inside these parentheses, I get negative 5. This makes 0 plus 2, so that gives me positive 2. Okay. Now, like I said, if you reversed which one was x1, y1, x2, y2, you would have just got positive 5 and negative 2 here. But that's okay, because when you square them, you end up getting the same thing in this step, which is 25 plus 4, right? What is 25 plus 4? Automatically right now, am I seeing they are not the same length? Yeah, I mean, I can finish this problem just to, so I know for myself because I know I was. you guys are all dying to know how long that pink line was, right? Like, you have to know. Okay, it's 5.385, so it's about 5.4 units. But are these the same thing? No. Okay, so we would say no, they are not the same length. Okay, that's the actual answer. Okay, this is all of the work to get this answer. Okay, if I give you guys a question on like a test or a quiz asking are the two lines the same length, if you just write yes or no, I'm not giving you credit, any credit at all. That's just guessing, okay? You need to show me, like, work justifying your answer. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Are there questions on how we did this one?
How many of you got that, like got these two, you came up with these two numbers when you did it? Okay, good, okay. All right, 